Hello again, welcome back. Another Belgian Abbey beer. This is called Marais de Sous from Flanders in Belgium. It's a 330ml bottle, it's 8% ABV. Uh, Marais de Sous Brun. Brown beer, strong Belgian <coughs> brown beer. Abbey. I thought that was the, the name of the brewery there, but it will have it, but I can't find it on there. Anyway, it's a lovely bottle, classic, traditional design. I've not got the glass, I had ordered the glass, and it was, I got an email from the company saying it was the last one they had and it was chipped, so they didn't pack it, so I got a refund. Let's crack it up. Nice cap. Put that in. Oh, I can smell that. I can smell like the the caramel, the malts. I'm gonna get a wee stuff swallow. There we go, that's perfect, but I'll just have to do, I can smell it, let's have a look at the colour, oh wow, oh wow, it's like that reddish brown, uh, ruby brown, I think it's called, slightly off white head, half a finger, mousse like foam, Quite boozy that as well. You're getting caramel malt and it like a like a caramelised fruit. It could be banana. Could be like prunes or I don't know. Or even vine fruits like raisins. Anyway, cheers my dears, three sips. It's quite carbonated. And that goes, it's super rich. This was originally brewed as a Christmas ale. That's what it is, it's that. It's like Christmas cake, liquidised, put some alcohol. Slight touch of bitterness. And the IBU is something like 22, so it's, that just balances that sweetness. That is superb. Let's have. Will we break it down? Yeah, we will. Tasting sheet from craftbeer.com. Temperature. 12.7 It could be, it has been at the fridge for quite a while Say the glass 13.6 Let's do the light test I'm going to put it up full beam Just to show that Beautiful ruby brown Is that gorgeous or what? Man, some of these Beers, like the doubles, the quadruples, the brown ales, just off the scale, beautiful. So, the colour, it's probably a 30-ish, something like that. Clarity, it is, it is clear, there's a, well, I'll I say a slight haze, because... I did give it that swirl, so it, it cleared the sediment from the bottom. The colour of foam head retention, I'll say it's moderate. Foam texture is quite thin now. Visual carbonation, I can't see any. And yet, there is carbonated in the mouth. The aroma alcohol, I'm going to say it is noticeable, I did pick that up. 
the hops. I don't know if it's the hops that's giving it. I'll say fruity. The malts, yes, yeah, it's, it's like a caramel. The esters is maybe raisin, something like that. I'm going to, I'm going to say pruny as well for the malts. Flavour and aftertaste, the alcohol, it's not that noticeable, it's mild. Well, ah, yeah, mild to noticeable. Yeah, the hot flavour, it's fruity and a wee bit spicy. Is that the hops? I don't know. Hot bitterness restrained, the malt flavour, it's, yeah, it's caramel and pruny. That's so good. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll just go with the... Is there chocolate? There might be a bit of milk chocolate in there. There's not much roastiness. The malt sweetness I'll say medium, palate astringency is low, body soft, palate carbonation is medium to high, the length is, I'm going to say it's long, it is over 60 seconds. Balance of drinkability desirable, style appropriate. It's a very nice beer. Let's have a look on Untapped and the website itself. Okay. Untapped, it's a uh, Married Sous Brun from Abbe de Married Sous in Brindonk in Flanders in Belgium. They're a macro brewery. It's a Belgian double. It's 8% ABV, 24 IBU. The style guide. This, the brown beer was originally only brewed for Christmas. Over the centuries, became a force to reckon with. Married Sous Brun has a creamy, foaming, dark burgundy colour. Yeah, I'm saying ruby, ruby brown, burgundy. Yeah, that's probably a better description. It's easily recognised by its expressive aroma bouquet. A generous caramel bouquet is completed with masterly fruit touches. Yeah. Descriptors are... Dark, sweet, malty, smooth, strong. Yeah, strong as in rich, I would say. I'm going to have a quick look on the the brewery website. Yeah, I'm on their website, but there's nothing about the beer. And what what it's mostly, there is some English sections, but there's actually, it doesn't display properly on the phone. That's very strange. Oh well. So it's just all information about the monastery and the monks. Anyway, this is an outstanding beer and I'm giving it 9.5 out of 10. I'm really enjoying these beers. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. That's exquisite. Oh, yeah.